Okay, <clears throat> recording this, this is, uh, just picked up a plasma cutter and a uh, MIG welder. And I decided I want to make a cutting table for the plasma cutter to reduce the amount of smoke. But I don't want to spend a lot of money. So what I'm going to do is try to use mostly uh, parts that I found around my house. I'm in my basement now, but I might have to move this to the garage. Uh, so here, let's take a look at what I got to work with. So here's a, here's a network rack. I don't know if you can tell that. That's an old network rack I used for uh, printers in my basement. And I'm thinking I'm going to uh, use that as a legs. Uh, keep in mind, something I, I needed to add is I, I see a lot of these on the uh, YouTube and they all use steel and they're all steel and since this is uh in my house in a residential neighborhood i gotta be able to move it a lot so i'm gonna try to keep it as light as possible uh, i picked up this sink on uh facebook marketplace i paid 50 bucks for it and these are the network racks trays under here you can see them uh, I've got a, a few of those, mixture of steel and aluminum. I'm going to use a square stock that I picked up to uh, make the cutting table part. And I picked up this flat piece of aluminum. Uh, I was hee-hawing about whether I should go with aluminum or steel. Obviously steel is better, it's more conductive. And I could use it as a welding bench, but once again I want to keep it light. Um, Here's an air compressor I picked up a while ago. It's a two-cylinder electric. I believe it's a 6 CFM. So I think that's going to be enough to run the, the cotton torch. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a heavy-duty one, military grade. Uh, and it was on a welding trailer. So my guess is uh, that's why they bought it, was because of the CFM rating. I'll have to look that up. Here's some uh, other found items. These are our CD racks, you know, for gaming. You put all your CDs in there. And what I'm thinking is if I cut one side of them off and hang it off the side of the cart, it might be a good for a uh, wire management. So once again, that cost me nothing. The uh, network rack cost me nothing. The steel and the... Uh, uh, metal cost me, I think, 130 bucks. So I'm into it for 130 plus the sink, which is 50 bucks. Already had the uh, air compressor, so no out of pocket there. And if worse comes to worse, I can run it off the large air compressor in the garage. Well, if I do, uh, it's 83 inches. So. If I do 27 inches on each one, I should be fine. Okay, I got some, uh, got some drilling tapping to do. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, that bolt hole was in a different spot. So I'm going to have to uh, drill and tap new ones because that ain't going to work. So I'm going to have to go find my uh, tap and die set. Come back. I forget to start recording again, but uh, drilling and tapping holes. 
square this up. Well, now we gotta get the wheels off, though. I don't wanna burn them things up. What the hell? Oh. Uh. Huh? You welded all that without the gloves? Yeah, you don't only need the gloves when you have to touch it. I'm in danger. I'm gonna get some more. I'm gonna probably get the super heavy duty ones. You should get the ones that work. The big leather ones. Yeah, that one's. Well, those then, feel good though. These are good. Yeah, but you want a heavy one just to pick up the hot shot. So uh, we discovered we needed center support, so we're adding wheels in the center. This is my son, Aaron. Oh, He's uh, helping me weld, but he also made a, uh, a comment that I'm, I should move these wheels to the inside, and it would be more stable, because we're noticing we're getting a lot of flex with the aluminum. So uh, I might have to reinforce the support here. I want to avoid using steel because uh, I want to keep the weight down. But so far, so good. Now he's going to weld up that next wheel. We tacked it on the top. It took us a while to get the settings right on the welder. Once a year. I mean, it is all in the book, but when you're not reading the book. Oh no, I set it by the book. That oh, was, oh. it wasn't working. I think it's because those are dissimilar aluminum. Uh, one probably melts hotter than the other one. Okay, ready? Yes. Can't wait to get my ventilation system in. Oh, you know something? I got a... Come check out this world there at the top. Yeah, let me go look at it. Oh, that looks very nice. Well, that's so so that's I, my son's well. That's the one I do that and for here while. is Papa's well. <laughs> so, there you go. I'm both cows. It's a race. Here's what's more amazing, is we're using the Millermatic 211, and it is attached 110 volts on a 20 amp circuit. <laughs> so, there you go. Not a bad welder for 20 amps worth. No. Definitely not. Okay. I gotta go check the wood stove. Only thing net left now is, uh, is I gotta connect the holes. So. <clears throat>
<clears throat> you got to be careful to not. I already did one already, and I had some of them at a slight angle. So I'm going to try to keep it straight this time. table. Yeah, like I said, some, some of them are a little crooked. I don't think it's going to hurt it. Some of them I went too deep on as well. Like that one. Yeah, it's a little crooked, but uh, it'll work. So, I've assembled all the bits. And uh, I didn't show you the process of this, but I made a, uh, a steel support plate. And you can probably see it right there. And I welded together the table and uh, put on a steel top on one side. And I'm still waiting for my other uh, uh, plasma cutting uh, spans to complete the other side. But uh, here's um, the assembled table. Uh, I did purchase the outer wheels, but the uh, inner ones I already had, so that was at no cost. And uh, yesterday I did a bunch of the plumbing, and uh, I'll show you that in a little bit of um, of all the the plumbing I've done. I uh, I skipped the uh, other steps of hooking up the wiring, and. Uh, but I believe I'm complete. Only uh, some tweaking left. So I'll let you guys uh, check out and critique my, uh, my table. So here we go. I'll take a wide view. And I'll explain as I go around. Uh, I have the, uh, my holder for my welder here. It was the bottom of that CD-ROM rack. The CD-ROM rack I ran for my hose management um, and then uh, I've installed my pneumatic system which is uh, the air comes in right here goes to a dryer and uh, from the dryer it goes to a high pressure regulator and from the high pressure regulator to my uh, tool oiler and then uh, two outlets. Um, after this air dryer, I tapped off of it to come back to another regulator. This will be my low pressure regulator, and that's to feed the plasma torch. And then, of course, I have a, uh, a end out here, um, just in case. I don't know if I have any s tools that require, maybe just for the air, air blower, you know, to blow off the work table. Um, so, uh, and then from there, it connects to a hose that goes to my uh, super, super dryer for the plasma cutter, this toilet paper roll. And that way I won't be wasting it uh, um, on other stuff I don't need. So I realized that my little two horsepower uh, air compressor, and uh, I've only got 10 gallons, and that's not quite enough. So. This is my solution to hook up my larger air compressor if I'm on a bigger project and then I can feed it in here to uh, augment the system. So I installed um, switches here in a power outlet. Um, the first switch turns on the air compressor and the torch. The second switch turns on just the power outlet and uh, then uh, I'll walk around on the back side here. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, 
But so up here I have the outlet for the compressor and the torch. I have my uh, ultra two two cylinder. I think it's two horse electric compressor. Does pretty good, but as you can see, the the tankage isn't good. Um, I have augmented it with this port portable tank, but you know I really need to get to. Uh, they they recommend 20 gallons, and I don't have that, so I'll be running out of air a lot. <laughs> so that's on this side, um, and of course you guys see me make the table, and uh, I actually had to order a two a two of these sets because now I've got quite a large cutting surface. And of course, and there's my uh, deep sink um, for adding the water and reducing the smoke. Um, I do have, I'm indoors, so while I'm indoors, I'm gonna have to use this ventilation system. Uh, I picked up this uh, 850 CFM, CFM uh, blower. It does pretty good. I mean, for what it is, it's not bad. And I route that out the side of my house. Uh, won't be doing a lot of cutting down here and stuff because that was the whole purpose of the project was to make a table I could disassemble and move to the garage and uh, eventually that's where it's going to go because um, I have work to do on my vehicle and other stuff so give me your thoughts what do you think overall the table weighs with everything on it it probably weighs uh, you know three four hundred pounds uh, but if I take the top off, which I can, it's all bolted on, then the aluminum piece uh, lower half of the table without the equipment is pretty light. Uh, we're talking maybe 100 pounds. And yes, there is some flex. It's not as sturdy as a steel table, but of course it's not as heavy as either. So uh, that's what I was going for. And of course, uh, I forgot to mention this other CD-ROM rack I stuck on the back side here for maybe holding tools and stuff. As I use this, I'm uh, probably going to discover other things I need. I can see already I'm going to have to put on some sort of a back wall so I can put my air tools up and out of the way and have them organized. But, uh, yeah, like I said, tell me what you think. Uh, I think it turned out fairly well. Uh, like I said, the only thing left is some tweaking. And uh, I'm going to call this job done. Peace out. Problem.